Well, today was, uh, or is, um, my first day at work. And I am tired. Had to wake up at uh, 5.30 this morning to be here at 7. You probably see how tired I am. Look at that. Um, and uh, I'm halfway through the day. Just went to lunch, went over to Chipotle, had a little lunch. And it's, um, I still, technically, I guess I have like 25 more minutes that I can have lunch. I guess I get an hour. I don't know. It's just a spreadsheet that I put in my time. Um, and I don't know how strict everything is. He said round everything to the nearest 15. Um, when I put it in. So, um, I didn't put in what time I left for lunch, but I left like right at noon. So, um, I should make it easy when I go back and put that in. Anyways, I don't know what to think about it yet. Two other people in the office. The third full-time employee is in Oregon. So I won't even get to see her, I guess, um, ever. So it's just three of us in this office. Uh, they're nice. I like them so far. Um, I just, uh, 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. Uh, it's not going to leave much time for all the other stuff that I want to do. Whether I be other ventures um, with like uh, Twitch, websites, whether it be having, uh, you know, free time, having fun, doing stuff fun, um, uh, exploring California, uh, making new friends, all that good stuff. I don't know where I'm going to find time for that. Um, on the weekends, I guess, but... There was a little, there was, Sunday was on the uh, timesheet. Sunday was on there, but Saturday wasn't, so I don't know if I'm supposed to work on Sunday or not. I'm gonna find, I have to find out. I do get to wear jeans if I want to. I, didn't, I did not today, but I get to wear jeans. And uh, hopefully I can wear boots. I'm going to ask about boots. Um, I don't have any, this is the only polo shirt I have, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I want to wear more polo shirts. All my button-up shirts are like super dressy. You know, for wearing with suits and stuff. So, I don't know where I'm going to go with that one either. Anyways, this is just my daily check-in. But, until later tonight when I leave here. Um, oh, well, good thing is, is I'm in Newport Beach. Balboa Peninsula. Pretty nice little area. There's, um, this little area right here is really nice. A lot of stuff around. A lot of restaurants and shopping and stuff. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess I can go a few blocks down the beach is down there. I'm not really sure. I haven't had a chance to explore it. And it'll probably be a while before I do. I'm off work. In fact, um, he let me leave a little early today. An hour early. Um, not that I wanted to or anything. I mean, I actually had work to do. It was just kind of busy work to learn learn the CRM and, and things like that. But he was like, hey, man, uh, since you... Uh, you know, you're not dealing with any clients in Asia or anything. You can go ahead and cut out. That's really the only reason we work till, till 6. I was like, all right, cool. So, I uh, finished up something I was in the middle of uh, and then left, which is fine because they probably think I'm on crack or something since I've had something going on with my left eye all day. It, it's, it has to do with the, um, it's getting dark. I've got red lights shining on my face. That's why I'm red right now. Um, something in my contact and I, I don't have I haven't had anything to fix it uh, I've been rubbing it all day uh, so they probably like I said they probably think I'm on crack or high or something whatever I just I need to get this contact out I have to go to the grocery store just to get some freaking solution uh, the only solution I have is for like all night solution um, and I can't be doing that oh shoot I don't know where I'm going we're back on track guys um, so I was supposed to take a ride, but then there was like a detour because the road was closed. And I think, I think we're on the right track, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I believe this Pacific Coast Highway. And uh, the bad thing about um, this job, at least, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, I, I didn't have to stop, sit there and wait anyways. I had a lane. My bad. 
Okay, so bad thing about this job, at least during the winter time, is it's gonna be dark when I go to work and it's dark when I get off work. Um, so yeah. Um, another thing is uh, so I stopped to get some gas, and I've never seen somebody so frustrated. Uh, and having a hard time getting gas in this girl that was next to me and it was it was like she couldn't get a car to work or she couldn't get the pump to work and she was complaining about how difficult it was and I guess she went inside once and a lady wouldn't help her and uh, so she ran back over there huffing and puffing and yelling and cussing and uh, uh, this other guy came out to help. I, it's like to the point where I was like, "Have you ever pumped gas?" Like I almost, like I almost said something to her that if she uh, had ever pumped gas, uh, because she was. So this, anyways, this guy comes out and he is like, "Well, okay, you have to cancel the transaction. You have to lift the thingy back up. You have to wait like 10 to 15 seconds for it to reset." Now, okay, now let's put your card in. No, you got to put it in this way. So you know, I guess she was putting her card in the wrong way. And then she's like, all right, do you know, he was like, do you know your zip code? And she was like, well, it's international card. He was like, well, that's why it doesn't work. You have an international card. So, um, she was just wanting to put $20 in and apparently she had $20 cash. Because she, 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 she could have just done that to start with. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, daddy probably doesn't pay for it um, if it's cash. I'm gonna assume if it's an international card, She's probably here from overseas and she's in school or something. Who knows? I mean, she's in she's in Balboa Peninsula, Newport Beach. Um, you know, and she was kind of cute until she started all huffing and puffing. And then I was like, yeah, no, she, she is ugly. She got ugly real quick. So, uh, wow, other than that, I don't really have much to say. I gotta get some dinner. Um, need to get uh, some solution. I gotta fix these contacts, man. This contact's bothering me. It's like, oh my gosh. Really, it really is bothering me. So, uh, anyways, that's all I have to say for right now. Last thing, I did ask him if I could wear my cowboy boots to work, and he kind of laughed. He said, yeah, man, you can wear whatever you want to. I said, all right, well, I like to wear cowboy boots and jeans, so... I'm gonna wear cowboy boots and jeans. I just don't know what top I'm gonna wear because I have like this is the only polo shirt I have. Uh, the re and my other nice stuff is I have like like Joseph A. Bank button ups that are all uh, they're either white or they're um, blue. So I mean I guess, but I don't have like my boot cut jeans aren't like super fancy. So maybe I need to get some new boot cut jeans. Man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, so maybe, I, maybe, maybe this weekend I um, go get a couple of shirts. Uh, maybe I get a new pair of jeans. Maybe I get, uh, maybe I get some polos. Tony, if you're watching this, I need you to send me some polo shirts. Uh, you know, maybe we can get. I can convince them to get some company. Uh, is it too soon to start to start selling? Uh, Tony, if I can get company uh, clothes, I want commission off that. All right, get some. Uh, 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 I, don't, I don't know if I should name the name of the company, but um, not at this time. Maybe at a future date. We'll see. So if uh, yeah, maybe I get them. Uh, I convince them to get some uh, company uh, some polo shirts. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah. All right, man.